So, like many people, when I first heard Gladiator 2, uh, kind of skeptical. Like many people, Gladiator is one of my favorites. And I actually do know Roman history at a stronger level. I actually know Latin a little bit. I'm actually from a Latin country. And I do know Roman history pretty well. I took a few courses in it. And I am trying to get back into it. So, what did I think from a more informed point of view? Well, some people were complaining that there is no way this or that is accurate, but it's like, no, that, that actually did happen. But Gladiator is not famous for accuracy, so let us get to the main point. Is this probably going to top the first one? I am severely doubtful, uh, and I'm not going to spoil the plot. This is no spoiler review, but I, I gotta say, this just does feel, from the trailer alone, just the trailer, just rearranged the parts of the first film, tweaked a few details and represented it and said, hey, he's a sequel. And I guess technically it's a sequel. One of the major characters, and this kind of gives it away, but one of the major characters apparently from the first film has grown up, and now he's a gladiator. And there we go. But the first one had the Joker as the villain. It seems there is no strong villain this time, although we do get some really young guys who are really thin and scrawny and... I guess they'll be the new villains. So anyway, it'll be more like a tragic story that, that Pascal will be, I guess, sort of a hero. And then there's the other guy. He's also a hero. And it'll be a tragic story this time. It's two heroes fighting as gladiators. Anyway, yada, yada, yada. It looks good. And the sound design is really strong. And Ridley Scott is a really great director. So on the whole, it, it does look impressive. It does look like it may, may work. But... I don't know. It's a lot of room for skepticism. A lot of people are going nuts over them using hip-hop music. I don't know why. So I'm going to just do a separate video on that. It's fine. Now, I do like the Hans Zimmer score. I agree. It would have been better to make that more prominent. However, this is what it is. It is a sequel. And Ridley Scott is one of the greatest directors of all time. But his record, when he revisits a story, is a little erratic. It's a little bit all over the place. So... Uh, crossing my fingers, it actually is a decent trailer. I'd give the trailer a 7 out of 10, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, can you make a sequel to Gladiator? It just seems that they did such a good job with the first one that the story is done. What more is there to tell? But I don't know. It does look really impressive in a few places. So I am going to be tentatively hopeful and do more digging.